you've already learnt the concept of osmotic pressure. I already gave the definitions for osmotic pressure, isn't it? We also derived a formula that is your uh, pi is equal to CRT. All right, we did this, and uh, now let us come back and solve the numericals which are related to your osmotic pressure. So basically, whenever numerical is given to you, osmotic pressure, first write the formula because you've already learned the formula. This also carries marks, so write the formula. The formula, yes. So <coughs> osmotic pressure pi is equal to we very well know osmotic pressure is directly proportional to or it's proportional to concentration as well as uh, temperature both the factors so pi is equal to crt this is what you have proved we very well know concentration c is equal to n by v now what is this n n is equal to number of moles of solute as divided by v stands for vo volume of solution liters this is what we have studied volume of solution in liters this is your concept now let's write pi is equal to n by v into universal gas constant into temperature kelvin yes so again i can further write this as pi is equal to n can be written as n is number of moles of solute which is equal to weight by molecular weight isn't it so i can also write w2 by m2 okay here you have taken into 1 by v into r into t okay done now my formula is ready i can use i can use that to solve the numerical now let's see what should i uh, see first note the given data and what should i calculate so calculate the osmotic pressure in Pascals, they want us to calculate osmotic pressure, and the answer should be in Pascals itself. Okay, done. Yes, capital P, small a. Done. Exerted by a solution prepared by dissolving one gram of polymer. Okay, this is polymer. One gram of polymer of molar mass one eight five zero zero. Okay, they've given me mass as well as uh, so they've given me weight as well as molecular weight. So what did they say? W one is one gram. It seems molecular weight for this <coughs> okay i took the w2 okay here also w2 not a molecular weight is 18500 done this is also over then in 450 ml of water they said so volume given to me is 450 ml done now be careful now what did they say i have to find the answer in pascals okay no problem weight is given molecular weight is given so weight i can substitute here molecular weight i can substitute here but volume why here volume of the solution in liters they said you have to be very careful isn't it here they've given an ml so convert this into your uh, liters that is nothing but 0.45 liters simple now substituting the sum pi is equal to what is uh, w2 given to us 1 divided by 185000 into your uh, 1 by v is 0.45 l into your gas constant r is universal gas constant and you have taken a liter so it is 8.314 into 10 days per 3 <coughs> yes Pascal liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. This is your universal gas constant. Your into temperature. You have to be careful now. So temperature. What did they give me? They've given me in 450 ml of water 37 degrees centigrade. They said. So 37 degrees centigrade. I have to convert into Kelvin. In earlier numerical also we have got 1.5 degrees centigrade. So here 0 plus 1.5. So we have made it a 1.5 Kelvin. Here also the same thing. 37 37 degrees centigrade and uh, yeah plus 273 yes uh, 273 this this comes to 310 isn't it yes this is the temperature 310 kelvin so uh, 10 it's 79 no 310 kelvin now temperature is also ready you multiply the temperature here so when i solve this whole thing i get an answer of 31 pascals this is your answer because they want me to write in pascal so i have written 31 pascals here so i've solved the whole thing finally come to conclusion important writing formula you can get you can get marks writing the given data writing uh, substituting in the formula writing the answer and finally the units everything carries marks which is given for three marks in your board exam